Hey, what's going on guys? It's Most Moto. Today I wanted to show you guys how to use the fuel petcock on your motorcycle. Fuel petcocks are very simple. They allow the flow of gasoline from your vehicle's tank to the carburetor. Basically, it's just a valve that allows you to turn the fuel on or off. And I briefly went over this in my TW200 review video, and I received some good feedback and questions, so I just wanted to go over it again. The fuel petcock is also commonly referred to as a fuel valve, or in the UK, a petrol tap. And they are commonly found on older motorcycles and many scooters with carburetors. So on my 2021 TW200, the fuel petcock is located right beneath the tank on the left hand side of the vehicle. And let's zoom in and take a closer look. So this is what the fuel petcock looks like on my 2021 Yamaha TW200. And most fuel petcocks are going to look just like this one with maybe some slight variation. And generally these are going to have three positions. The off position, which is what it's turned to right now the on position, and then the reserve. Anytime you want to start your motorcycle, make sure that it is turned to the on position, just like that. And this will allow fuel to flow from the tank to the carburetor. If you're done riding for the day, it's a good idea to turn this valve to the off position, just like that. If you leave it on the on position when the bike isn't running, fuel may still flow from the tank to the carburetor, potentially flooding the bike and making it more difficult to start next time you want to ride. And if you forget to shut off the valve, it's usually not going to be the end of the world, and more than likely your bike will start without having any issues. However, if you leave the valve on for a long period of time, the bike will probably be flooded and unable to start. But if you're just stopping to take a break on the side of the road, or grabbing something to eat, you don't need to worry about turning the fuel off every time. However, it's still a good habit to get into. And the last position on the fuel petcock is the reserve position. When the valve is turned to this, it allows you to access the bike's reserve fuel, and in most cases this is not a separate tank on your motorcycle. Instead, the petcock has two straw-like tubes that extend from it, and essentially there is a higher and a lower one. The higher one is open when you switch the valve to the on position, and then the lower one is switched open when you move the valve to the reserve position. And I'll make sure to throw a picture of what I'm talking about up on the screen so you can get a better understanding. And keep in mind, you can also start and ride your motorcycle with a valve turned to the reserve position. Just keep in mind that once your reserve is up, you'll be all out of fuel. And depending on the motorcycle, the reserve capacity in your tank might vary, so make sure to check the owner's manual for more details. It's pretty important to know how your pet cock works on the motorcycle, and without it, you won't be able to get any fuel. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, ride safe.